massive news. The Gen 4 Specialized Turbo Levo has just dropped. Is the motor more powerful? Is the battery bigger? Have they elevated its already legendary ride? Could this be another game changer? Let's dive in and find out. Hi folks, I'm Jason and welcome to eBike Center. Today, Specialized has just unleashed the all new Gen 4 Turbo Levo and the excitement is palpable. With every new generation, the Turbo Levo has set a new benchmark, but this time it faces stiff competition from both seasoned rivals and fresh innovative challenges that are reshaping the ENTB landscape. So the burning question, have they ramped up the power? Yes. Oh yes, they have. The all new Specialized 3.1 motor now delivers a peak output of 720 watts and 111 Newton meters of torque. Nice round number that. And with that signature supernatural feel, the power is delivered in a smooth and manageable way that keeps you in perfect harmony with the bike. Specialized is clearly throwing down the gauntlet to the DJI AM flow and the Bosch CX Gen 5. Under the hood, the motor is fueled by a side-loading, removable 840 watt-hour battery, promising up to four and three-quarter hours of trail-shredding fun. You can fine-tune your ride even further with Specialized all-new Mastermind TCU, and if you still need extra juice, an optional range extender has you covered. And when that main battery does finally run out, it can recharge up to 80% in under one hour. Before we move on, if you're enjoying this video, please take a second to hit that like button and subscribe. It really helps us keep the content coming and keeps you in the loop of all things EMTB. Now let's talk tech. The Mastermind TCU now features a crisp 2.2 inch high res display that's fully customizable via the specialized app. Plus, with a built-in immobilizer and Apple's Find My tracking, your Levo stays locked down and unmistakably yours. In terms of design, the Gen 4 has launched exclusively in a carbon frame. It retains much of the unmistakable Levo DNA with that familiar shotgun mid-shock, but ditches the old support strut and that bulbous integration of the previous Bros units is gone, replaced by a sleeker, more visually appealing design. Specialized has also managed to squeeze a SWAT storage compartment into the frame, although I'm yet to figure out where. In terms of suspension, Specialized sticks with a proven formula, 160mm at the front and 150mm at the rear, with an option for a 180mm fork for those of you that crave the really rough stuff. And the mid-shock now boasts Specialized Genie shock tech, as seen on the latest Levo SL range. Their partnership with SRAM continues strong, equipping the bike with variations of the SRAM Maven brakes and AXS 12-speed T-type drivetrains. Currently, two models are available, the Carbon Comp priced at 6799 and the Levo Carbon Expert at 8499 with delivery expected by late April or early May. A more budget-friendly alloy version is due later this year, along with a premium Money Is No Object S-Works edition for those of you who want it all. Now, I'd love to tell you just how incredible this ride is, but like you, I haven't had a chance to take the Gen 4 for a spin. Our ride is coming at the end of the month, but having ridden the three previous generations, I'd be shocked if this bike doesn't live up to its game-changing DNA. With fierce competition from the likes of the All Bayer Wild, the Trek Rail Plus, and the DJI Amflo, the question remains, will the Gen 4 Levo continue to reign as king of the mountain, or will a new contender take the crown? Stay tuned and we'll bring you a full ride review very soon. So what do you think? Has the Gen 4 Turbo Levo, on paper at least, re-established itself as the bike to beat? Or is there another machine out there that stands at the pin? If you're in the market for a new EMTB, drop your thoughts and comments below. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please don't hesitate to like and subscribe. And if we don't see you in store, we will see you in the next video. Cheers.